Podcast. If you had to pick a person, alive or dead, past, present, real or fictitious, who in your opinion would perfectly embody leadership, who would that be and why? And, and uh, I'm maybe biased because I'm American and ironic yeah. because I'm talking to a Brit, but I th- what I admire most about George Washington is that he handed over power. He, he, one, didn't seek out the position of president. Others came to him and said, we want you to do this. We think you're the person for the job. But then, as promised, when the job was done, he handed over power. And I am, uh, I'm always a bit on guard of people that say, I want to be a CEO. I want to understand why. Um, because to have that power is an awesome responsibility. And someone smarter than me said, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And so it, in my opinion, what makes George Washington a phenomenal example of a leader is that he understood that the power wasn't his. It was simply borrowed from others. And that the ethical, the just, the right thing to do as a leader is that when the purpose of that power uh, has been achieved or has passed, it is time to hand it over to others. Uh, Marcus Aurelius, uh, you know, the, the philosopher king, um, you know, he, he served as the Roman Empire or the Roman Emperor from like 161 to 180, you know, 19 years he was adopted and just how he led himself and how he respected the people in his kingdom and just how he approached life and self-leadership you know his his duty and respect for others self-restraint you know he he's viewed by so many throughout history as one of the greatest emperors i think when people talk about the roman empire like the five good emperors and he was one of them i think he is like the last of the great five emperors even nicola machiavelli you know who who wrote the prince and he's often studied uh he's actually one of the the authors that is studied in uh in the grand strategy program at yale to have people throughout history view a certain individual as a great leader, I mean, you got to kind of lend credence to that. But just, you know, reading his meditations, seeing what he viewed as important, it was clearly, you know, that idea of service to others that the people that he was leading was more important than him. Uh, Nelson Mandela, a really interesting human being, right? Um, was um, leading in a in an unbelievable time, and had to navigate a lot of really um, sticky wicket problems. Very, very, very challenging human dynamics, and. It could have gone lots of different ways. Also had to cede power um, gracefully and then take a step back, even though, you know, the country was in a really precarious position. And one could argue whether, whether um, you know, the current history has played itself out. But, you know, um, in some ways, we all play our leadership role in our time, right? You only get whatever you get in your time. Extraordinary human, I would totally um, love to have a conversation around what the drivers were behind the decision making, how to maintain your um, sense of purpose when it would be really easy to, you know, there were so many ways that could have gone badly.